Hey everybody, it's Jack and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet as I'm currently in the process of moving. By the time you see this next video, I'll be in a completely different city with a brand new setup. Today's video is gonna be all about highlighting a company that I've been buying more shares of over the past month and going over the reasons why. Showcasing why I see a lot of value in this company at the current valuation. It's actually a company I've already shown here on the channel a couple times. It is Data Communications Management Corp, ticker symbol DCM. DCM is a communications and marketing work flow company working with over 70 of the top 100 companies in Canada across a multitude of sectors and what I'm gonna go over today is a comparison to one of their competitors down in the States that has had a major acquisition and buyout war RR Donnelly and Sons this is a company that is very similar to actual terms of the business model that it has to DCM it is also a large-scale kind of multi-channel enterprise communications and marketing company and what's really exciting and really showcases the hidden value in DCM is that the fact that RRD RR Donnelly and Sons company has been undergoing an aggressive buyout war private companies are keep on bidding higher and higher and higher to acquire RRD this is just showcasing the value that these investors see in the company just like DCM and we're gonna go over the comparison side by side and showcase how DCM were valued at the same way that RRD, which has seen an over 200% increase in its share price over the past few months because of these buyout offers. We'll see exactly where this puts DCM if they were to be valued at the exact same kind of ratios and multipliers that RRD is and really showcase the kind of hidden value that I see in the company, which I find to be super exciting. So without further ado, let's jump into the comparison and explain why I see this value in DCM. So let's start off by looking at the share price of both companies. So Data Communications Management Corp or DCM is the ticker currently trades at $1.28 at the time of filming this video. The company has a market cap sitting around $56 million. It has a PE ratio around 11. And if we can see at the share price over the past little while, it's been steadily increasing over the past few months. If we see over the past month alone, it's gone from around $1.15 or so up to almost $1.30 where it's currently trading. And if we look over the past six months, it dropped quite significantly from around $1.40 all the way down to the dollar range and it since then has bounced back really nicely over the past little while it's really in that upwards trend which we love to see as the stock really just starts to build some nice momentum and if we look at a very similar company to dcm rr donnelly and sons ticker symbol rrd on the nasdaq they currently trade at $11.25 per share with a market cap sitting over $800 million. So again, this is a much larger scaled up version. And looking at the share price, you can just see how RRD has gone absolutely ballistic over the past few months with all the buyout offers that just keep coming in as they get higher and higher offers. The companies that are bidding for them, the private companies, just keep outbidding one another, just really pushing the value of RRD up even more. These private investors see a lot of value in the company. They really thought it was undervalued if they're going to be throwing out these huge offers for the companies. As they just keep throwing out bigger and bigger offers, we can see that the share price over the past few months for RRD was at $4 in mid-September to where it's currently trading at above $11, around $11.25. So you can see that the stock price has almost tripled over the past three months alone, which as we now get into really excites me about DCM and some of that intrinsic value that they currently have that really isn't priced into the stock price at the current levels. So if we now actually crunch the numbers and compare the two companies side by side to see how the two stack up, and why I think DCM is currently undervalued compared to some of its competitors, as well as just the market in general. And it really has some good upside potential. So first, looking at the market cap, DCM has roughly a market cap just north of $50 million, while for RRD, it's sitting just north of $800 million. So again, quite a larger size company, but we're gonna be comparing the numbers in terms of ratios, so the two will actually balance out. The enterprise value for DCM sits roughly around $130 million, compared to the enterprise value for RRD sitting just north of $2 billion with a B. So in terms of a ratio to market cap to enterprise value, these are almost identical numbers, both sitting at a ratio between 2.5 and 3. And if we actually look at the trailing PE over the past 12 months, we can see that the trailing PE for DCM is around 10, while the trailing PE for RRD is actually around 16, which is a plus for DCM. You always like to see the lower PE ratio of the two. And then next, the price to sales ratio over the past 12 months for DCM is 0.23. 
and its counterpart RRD is 0.17. And now to compare one of my favorite values between the two companies is net debt, because this is something that DCM has been really prioritizing over the past 12 months. You know, throughout the pandemic, when they really couldn't generate those super high revenue numbers, at least they were improving their bottom line and working like crazy to reduce debt and pay down their debts, which looks even smarter in today's market as we're starting to see inflation rise like crazy, which will most likely cause interest rates to rise slightly over the next coming years, which again makes it harder to pay back debt and really just leverage their debt. So this is one thing that DCM has in favor. Its net debt is sitting around $40 million. So under its market cap, a ratio of 0.8, while RRD has over $1 billion dollars in debt quite a substantially over 1 billion almost a 2x ratio compared to its market cap which in my eyes is not ideal and if we throw into our comparison revenue and start to really look at ratios we can really see that dcm is well positioned in terms to its counterpart and is at a much nicer evaluation than rrd such as the ratio of enterprise value divided by revenue dcm trades at the last 12 months at a ratio of 0.4x while RRD trades at 0.5x, almost identical. But if we look at the most common ratio when comparing two similar companies, which is the total enterprise value divided by the adjusted EBITDA, we can see that DCM trades at a valuation of 3.3x over the last 12 months, while RR Donnelly & Sons trades at 6.9. So if we take this exact same 6.9 number from RRD and apply it to DCM, we can actually see that DCM would have an overall market cap of roughly $165 million and actually have an implied share price based on the number of outstanding shares of over $3. So actually $3.17, which gives DCM an upside of over 150% from the current share price. So really just to recap for any of you who might be lost, this really is just applying the same evaluation that RRD has been getting after its buyout offers and applying it to DCM and evaluating it at the exact same ratio that RRD is currently being evaluated by those private investors who are aggressively trying to buy out the company. If this same type of value proposition was placed on DCM, they would have roughly a market cap of around $165 million. And really what we care about most is that share price. If DCM were applied the same valuation as RRD, they would have an implied share price of over $3, like I mentioned, $3.17, which gives a huge upside potential to DCM and is just another cherry on top. And one of the reasons I've been continuing to buy shares as I think DCM is undervalued. So there you have it. That's really one of the main reasons I've been buying more shares of DCM over the past month or so. So there you have it. I really think this buyout war for RR Donnelly and Sons really is just a really shining star for DCM and goes to show showcase some of the hidden value that it has, which is one of the reasons I've been picking up more shares over the past month or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Lots more videos coming your way over the next little while. I'll see you in the next one.